Now, Queen Nefertiti was a powerful African ruler in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt was located in northeastern Africa along the longest river in the world named the Nile River. The creation of ancient Egypt can be credited to the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt into a single kingdom by the African king Nama in 3100 BC. Ancient Egypt was divided into a series of dynasties from the First Dynasty in 3100 BC to 31st Dynasty in 332 AD. Now, by 1549 AD, the 18th Dynasty of Egypt had been established and was founded by an African king named Ahmos I. Later, in the great history of the 18th Dynasty of Ancient Egypt, the Queen Nefertiti came to power in 1351 BC, and she also held the title of being the great royal wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten, who ruled Egypt at the time. The name Nefertiti means a beautiful woman has come. Nefertiti had many other titles, including the Lady of the Two Lands, the Mistress of Upper and Lower Egypt, Lady of Grace, and Lady of All Women. When Nefertiti was 15 years old, she married Amenhotep IV, who later became an African king and ruler of Egypt, taking on the title of Pharaoh. Amenhotep IV was crowned in the Egyptian city of Thebes, and there he started a building program and decreed the construction of a temple dedicated to Aten. Amenhotep would later change his name to Akhenaten in the fifth year of his rule. The Queen Nefertiti was known for her beauty and would give birth to six daughters for her husband, named Meritaten, Meketaten, Ankesepaten, Nefernefruaten Tasherit, Nefeneferure, and Setepenre. During the early years of the couple's reign, the Queen Nefertiti would wear the crown of Hathor, which had a sun disc and cow horns. On a site on the east bank of the Nile River, Akhenaten built the city named Tel El Amarna. About 1348 BCE, as the new capital of his kingdom, when he and Queen Nefertiti both devoted themselves to the worship of one god whom they called Aten. Nefertiti and Akhenaten were instrumental in transforming the religion of Egypt into a monotheistic one where the worship of only one god was established. Together they abolished the religious practices of Egypt, closed the temples and decreed Aten the one true god. Queen Nefertiti held the position of priest of Aten. In the new monotheistic religion, the king and queen were viewed as a first pair through whom God provided his blessings. Queen Nefertiti enjoyed unprecedented power, and by the twelfth year of her reign, there is evidence that she was elevated to the status of co-regent, equal in status to the pharaoh himself. She is often depicted on temple walls in the same size as him, signifying her importance, and is shown alone worshipping the god Atom. From her royal palace, as she sent forth the royal decrees and made the decisions which, according to previous tradition, were the responsibility of her husband, Akhenaton. In this sense, it is understood that Queen Nefertiti wielded more power than any other queen of Egypt since Queen Hatshepsut. Queen Nefertiti is remembered as one of the most powerful and influential African queens to have ever ruled.